Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Zach Massage, and we are back here covering Baby Blissapalon, a deck that has seen success in the past format of Cosmic Eclipse, and now it looks like it gains a few new techs for the Sword and Shield format. This is a list that's heavily based off of Fabian's list from Limitless when he played versus the Brave Birds, so shoutouts to him for the inspiration on this list. If you're missing any cards from this deck on PTCGO, feel free to to go to ptcgostore.com, plug in code RAREcandy to save 5% off your order. And if you are a patron, by joining at patreon.com slash rarecandytcg, you can use a special code to receive 7.5% off your code card purchase. So happy card hunting. Jumping back into it, this deck works around using Fireball Circus. You can discard any number of fire energies from your hand, kind of juggle them around there and hit your opponent for 50 damage each card you discarded. To the active so if you're playing against something that has 270 hp you could discard six energies and knock them out drawing a bunch of prize cards as a single prize card pokemon this pokemon certainly packs a punch we gained a few new cards from sword and shield mainly zacian v as a way to draw cards something that this deck has struggled with we gained energy retrieval as a reprint to allow us to get kind of an extra fire crystal in this deck we gained Quick Ball to search out our Pokemon, and we gained Lucky Egg. Lucky Egg is probably the biggest gain from this deck, whether you're playing a Chinchino version of this deck, a Greens Exploration version of this deck, or kind of this hybrid both version. Um, we got a Lucky Egg. If the card this is attached to is knocked out by damage from an opponent's attack, draw cards until you have seven in your hand. So no longer can they reset stamp you and uh, put all your energies away. You can Lucky Egg your Pokemon and get around it. Also gain Cramorant V from Sword and Shield. It is a cool, mainly for Spit Shot, you can discard all energy from this Pokemon, do 160 to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon, or any Pokemon that is. Um, you could do, it's really good for sniping into Dene and winning a game that way. Be Catch is also really hot because you could search your deck for two cards and put them into your hand. So if your hand sucks, Cramorant V is a good consistency crutch. So for those of you who have never played a Baby Blue Cephalon deck, I'm going to explain how each and every card works very briefly. So stay tuned. Otherwise, feel free to take a screenshot of this deck and jump right into the portion where we play some games on PTCGO. Uh, Cramorant, we already went over. Beak Catch, grabbing any two cards. Um, so Consistency Crutch and Spit Shot is mainly good for attacking Dedenne. Got Baby Blacephalon. Um, it's definitely the big brain card of this deck. Basically how it works. You use Fireball Circus. You want to only be using it for knockouts for the most part. Blazer's good to kind of uh, partially damage a Pokemon. So whether you're attacking into a Dedenne that has uh, 160 HP. So regardless, you're going to do 10 damage to it, which brings Fireball Circus down to being a, uh, three energies. Or you could use Blazer, hit the fire energy if you're lucky enough. And then you only need two energy. So Blazer is really good at playing around with some numbers. So you don't need as much for Fireball Circus. But Fireball Circus is really the main thing. It's a single prize card Pokemon that can knock things out. It's fire type, so it gets all of the cool cards like Welder, Fire Crystal, Fiery Flint. And Zacian V is probably one of the most popular cards we have in the entire game right now. Very playable in most of the decks that we have at the absolute top of the metagame. So uh, playing a fire type Pokemon is great against metal type Pokemon. Got a copy of Blacephalon GX. This is mainly used for burst GX. Just to try to draw an extra prize card, essentially. You just discard a prize card so you could win a game like that. Bursting burn is a great way to get around things that only prevent damage. So something like Obstagoon, you can burn and confuse it. Victini Prism Star. I know this. a lot of players haven't been playing this in their list lately. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I like using Infinity. Infinity is a great way to get back energy in general. If this card isn't working for you, I'd probably recommend playing another Energy Retrieval or Energy Recycler. Jirachi, this is the reason why we want to play this card is so that we can go first with this deck. So we have Jirachi and Zacian for that. Those cards basically dictate if you're going to be going first or not. I think uh, that's pretty self-explanatory. So you can uh, look at look for a trainer card with Stellar Wish and then get out of the active position. Zacian V is basically only used for Intrepid Sword. Nothing else going on here. Mew, this is to block Pikaram from just destroying your bench or Naganadel GX from destroying your bench. Oracorio GX is kind of warranted in this deck. 
because you could knock out one of your opponent one of, when they knock out one of your Pokemon, regardless of a lucky egg or not, you are getting three cards at any point during your turn. So it can be kind of hot like that. You gotta watch out for Great Catcher with this one. I like having a couple copies of B String, and I'm it's it's a card that I'm like on the fence about because I might be able to search on my energies beforehand. So it, by the time you I get to the B String turn, it might not matter. So you could search your deck for two basic energy cards and attach them to one of your Ultra Beasts. You want to use it when you're at three or when your opponent's at three or four prize cards, allowing you to power up your Pokemon pretty quick. Some lists play only Energy Retrieval and Fire Crystal. I like a copy of Energy Recycler to get back more energy if we needed to for it to make use for like the fourth Fiery Flint or something like that. Energy Retrieval is a cool card here to get back some extra basic energies, but it's just a worse version of Fire Crystal. Um, it's essentially a fifth fire crystal. Fiery Flint is a great way to search out fire energy. Fire crystal is a great way to get back fire energies. Uh, <laughs> great Catcher is a great way to bring up GX Pokemon. There are still a few GX Pokemon hiding out there. Arceus, Diagopalkia probably being one of the most popular. The Dene GX, this can help them get out of their hiding on the bench. Palpat, I wanted to have a copy to get back. Welder, Quick Ball. Four copies. We have basic Pokemon. We only play basic Pokemon in this deck. This searches out basic Pokemon. Switch. We got three copies, so we could always uh, switch out of the Pokemon that we have in the active position, or switch into a Jirachi, or if they have Absol, we can get out of it. Um, I'm actually going to change that right now. I I think a Skateboard's cute, but I want to play a fourth Switch because Absol is very popular because Jirachi is very popular. Heat Factory is a card that just allows us to draw some more cards. In general, we have fire energies, discard them, get them back, works with it. Ultra Space can allow us to search out one of our uh, Ultra Beasts, whether it's Blacephalon or Blacephalon GX. Those are the only ones that we have in this deck. Then we got four copies of Welder powering up our Pokemon however we like. Mainly the only four Pokemon we're going to be powering up would be Cramorant to use Spit Shot, Blacephalon to use Fireball Circus. You could power up Mind Blown. Do keep that in mind if you have a bunch of energy in play and you can use infinity got one copy of a skateboard now that i've changed it because i'm worried about absol we'll see if i'm right otherwise you could just go two three split like it was before lucky egg is like i said it's a great way to get around reset stamp marty things like that things that affect your hands and then we got 14 copies of fire energy to make this deck all rounded out Overall, I think this deck's pretty awesome. The only card that I'd really like to add in here is a single copy of Jirachi, or of uh, Dedenne GX. I could see that working quite nicely with this deck. Not entirely sure where I'd cut. I'd say probably like a B-String would be nice. But you want to have enough B-String so that when you get on B-String turn, it works. Maybe a Lucky Egg would be cool. But at the same time, I think Lucky Egg's a card that I'd like to play down. So I'm not entirely sure where I'd want to put a card like that. Maybe it's better than a Victini. Or maybe it's just not necessary in the deck at all. We will find out in the next couple games that we play on PTCGO. So without waiting, let's jump into that right now. So our opponent's going first. We're going to go with Jirachi in the active position. This actually seems cool. Um, in terms of a hand, we got uh, Jirachi to kind of start off, get Stellar Wish. We got Blacephalon to go on the bench. And got a Fiery Flint. We could search out some things. Looks like they might be playing Mewtwo Malamar. This has been a favorable matchup from what I've been testing so far, if that's what this deck is. Because we just need to knock out two of their tag team Pokemon, or Pokemon that are worth three prize cards. So Mewtwo Mew, Trevenant Dust Noir, Gengar Mimikyu. Oh, wow. Huh, they must have another Malamar in their hands. So going through here, let's go Fiery Flint. Let's discard those two, get four. See what we got here so got drachis looks like we prized a cramorant b string fire crystal escape board lucky egg something like that so we'll grab those we got all of our welders though so that's cool Let's see what uh, Stellar Wish brings us. Stellar Wish. We did get a Welder. Awesome. I don't know if we're going to be able to get a knockout this turn. It doesn't seem likely, but it's very possible. 
if we get the right cards. Uh, I think we're actually a card short. I think we're one energy short. So there's uh, three. There's a lucky egg. We can get uh, two. So we could do 250 damage this turn. I don't think it's worth it. And I don't want them to just go like Pale Moon GX or something like that. So I'm a, I'm a pass here. Our opponent didn't start with a Mewtwo Mew. They probably can't power up this Pokemon with Nightwatch this turn. And the big charm doesn't change anything. They must have a supporter or something. Oh, Tate and Liza. That's an interesting tech in that deck. Let's see what they end up getting here. I don't think they're going to use Pale Moon at all. They might just attach an energy and pass. In that case, I think we're in a good position to just get a knockout. Oh, that's probably going to be for a Cherish Ball for a Dedenne. Guess I got that backwards. I read the Cherish Ball. They have an alternate charisma, so it looks like they might be using a Jesper Erickson's list, also from Limitless. Another NK down, cool. Um, again, none of these things are allowing them to attack with Nightwatch. Right now, they can't attach any energies from their discard pile. Um, they can't copy anything because they don't have Mew Team Mew in play. They got Absol. Maybe they think the switch is like what I'm lacking. There's a Fiery Flint. That will definitely do it. So I'm going to discard those two because we can always use the fire crystals, just grabbing more stuff out. <clears throat> Let's see what Stellar Wish brings us. Don't know entirely if, if I'm totally fine with like the quick ball there, but let's just go with it. I mean, I'm cool if we just get a Blacephalon here, I think. Yeah. Let's go for a Blacephalon. Like, we haven't been getting really much else going with this hand. Let's go switch. So we're going to go turn two, knock out for three prize cards. Only three prize cards remaining. Um, three, six energies in our hand. Yeah, let's go Fireball Circus. One notable thing that I did change from Fabian's list is I, I cut out the Acro Bikes. I didn't find it was absolutely necessary. I'd rather have something like the fourth Jirachi overall. Because we have Lucky Egg anyways, and I just don't want to discard through resources. Not particularly the greatest prize cards. Um, Mew could be okay in this matchup because they can use Naganadel GX or something even like uh, Linear Attack on their Garchomp Garatina GX. But right now, our opponent, we just don't know what they have. We could be a great catcher away from just absolutely bopping them this game. And if they knock out our active, it's very possible that they're knocking it out with a GX Pokemon. Are they gonna... Yeah, I don't... I'm not really sure what they're gonna do here. Oh. Are they just feeding us a prize card? What are they gonna do here? Like, best case scenario is if we knock out a Dedenne GX. And then we're just like, okay, I'm totally fine with a Marnie. Our hand was dead anyways. It's crazy that they put down Ditto. I really don't think they should have put down Ditto. Um, my reason for that is they they literally just can't. Like, they just can't do much with that. Like, what's my retreat cost? Th plus three? So they're going to be doing... 120 like it it's it's a cute gesture i'll give it that got a switch there and got a fire crystal i'm gonna take my chances because we got switch that's kind of hot uh cool let's go for there's nothing Okay, we have a better chance at getting stuff if we go well there first. So let's go Fire Crystal. Actually, if I get a Pokemon, I might want to use a uh, Big Teeny Prism Star. Let's go Stellar Wish. Yes. 
quick ball away a Zacian at this point because we just really don't need it. We have the Victini Prism Star right there. Cool. Then we could also self power up that Blissephalon next turn to kind of uh, checkmate our opponent into us having two attackers. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's try to get rid of that Chaotic Swell, which we're just going to lose our Heat Factory, but that's cool. Um, I think we still have eight energies in there, so we will be getting the knockout. So let's just go switch into Victini. Let's go Pal Pad. There's another energy there. And let's go for Infinity. So if our opponent does not knock out something on our bench, <clears throat> if they knock out our Victini or our Blacephalon, we will be drawing up the seven. And I think that's probably enough for us to win this game. We also got a B string there. And we just put a bunch of energies back in with infinity so i think we're in a really good spot here that's the venom shot naganadel which they shouldn't be even able they they probably won't even be able to attack with it this turn um the scariest thing that they could probably do here is just go mew to mew um copy a naganadel gx with stinger gx shuffle it all back but they just put down a Gyratina. did they play Gyratina down from their hands a lot of things are just happening and i'm a little bit confused exactly what's going on like they could get a knockout here <clears throat> yeah i think this seems completely fair at that point they're gonna choose who goes first they might go first depending on what they're playing if they go second, they're probably not playing ADP. Might be one of the more difficult matchups for this deck, just because they could draw extra prize cards. Okay, so they're going first. That's cool for us. Maybe we can get a cool attack off. Definitely seems like it's not a bad hand. This deck's working pretty well, if you ask me. Please wait for your opponent to choose an active Pokemon. Hmm. Well... I know that we only have one choice and our one choice is Jirachi. So while I'm planning this turn out, I wanna use a Fiery Flint, discarding a fire, hopefully another fire, grabbing four fires, using Quick Ball, discarding another fire, and then to grab a Blacephalon or anything and uh, powering it up with Welder. So our opponent's playing Jirachi as well. I wonder what uh, which deck they're playing could be playing <clears throat> a mirror match we could be playing against a zacian adp could be playing against maybe a control deck wouldn't be absolutely out of the norm it's like our opponents uh making some decisions here lots of things to do maybe if they don't grab a dedene we'll find out what they grab with cherish ball okay so it's a mewtwo deck Mewtwo, again, it's worth three prize cards. We could uh, maybe knock it out really quickly. And with them having a fire energy, it looks like it's going to be a Welder-based Mewtwo deck. So with them going first, it's actually probably a mistake because it's better to use Welder on your second, like going second. But that's okay. We got an Oricorio GX. That's actually, that's not too bad. So let's go, um, I think I'm going to actually have to discard that. Let's go... Fiery Flint, discarding Oracorio. So, not too bad. Be gone. Gonna get a bunch of cards in our hands. So, we have a Fire Energy prize. We have a Jirachi prize. That's two of our prize cards. B String, that's three of our prize cards. Two quick balls, that's five of our prize cards. I'm not entirely sure what our last prize card is here. Um don't think it's a Pokemon. I'm sure it's just gotta be a singleton card. That's fine. We found the majority of our cards here, so let's grab those with Fiery Flint. <clears throat> Let's go Quick Ball. We're going to get out a Blacephalon here. 
And I want to use Welder to give us a better chance of drawing in some more cards. We're looking for more trainer base cards. So let's Welder up there. Perfect. And we're going to go for a Stellar Wish. There's a Fiery Flint. Lucky Egg. And I really don't want to go in with Fiery Flint right away. Because if our opponent just knocks us out with the Lucky Egg, it's not we draw seven cards, we draw up to seven. Um, until we have seven cards in our hand. So I, I'd like to draw three cards here. We're not getting a knockout, so we're just gonna we're just gonna chill and hopefully our opponent doesn't get a knockout on our Jirachi in the active position. Not entirely the greatest start. It would have been really nice to get out of Zacy in there. And they're just probably gonna go through some more options. Okay, so Charizard uh, breaks in. Wouldn't be surprised if they discarded that. Yep, there's a Quick Ball. So Mewtwo did gain Quick Ball for it to discard more of its options. Maybe they'll grab a Dedenne here, unless they already have something in their hand. Okay, an Espeon Deoxys, cool. Espeon Deoxys would get around a Lucky Egg because that's only by damage, but they're not going to be able to use Cross Division right away. At least for its full effect. So our opponent did discard a Welder and a Malolana, so obviously they were without Fire Energies. Maybe they have Fire Energies, no Welder now. That's what I don't like about Mewtwo, sometimes you're missing, missing cards in general. I wonder what they're going to grab here, because they're going to go Escape Board. Nag GX, cool. Okay, and they're going right into a Professor's Research. So they've already attached, there's a Stealthy Hood. I don't know why they'd put Stealthy Hood on Jirachi on the bench. It's a really weird card to put Jirachi because now it can't retreat with an escape ward. So if they put themselves to sleep, they can only get out of the active by switching. They can't even retreat it with a Fire Energy or a Psychic Energy. Marshadow, I'm not gonna be playing a Power Plant. So um, a little bit of an interesting deck list. I haven't seen a deck like this for Mewtwo, or at least played like this for Mewtwo, but uh, it's okay, let's see what's going on here. Let's go for Heat Factory first, one, two, three. Let's go Fire Crystal, get back three, and then let's go Fiery Flint to discard two getting four awesome so we got a bunch of energies in our hand and let's see exactly what we can get with stellar wish so there's a welder <clears throat> and i just want to get blissephalons powered up because this is a this is a two game this is a two knockout game we want to knock out two tag team gx pokemon namely mewtwo and mew gx so let's attach those cool got a lucky egg Pal pad. let's get a couple of those welders back there. And we got two powered up Blacephalons. So I think we're doing pretty okay here. Got switch. I really don't want to take a knockout here at all. Don't really want to energy recycler. Don't really want to go fiery flint. Let's just go ahead and pass here. So, our opponent's active is asleep. They can get out of it with a skateboard pretty easily. Still would have been nice to get a quick ball or something that turn, so I could have been like Zacian and chill. They're going to go Welder. Next turn, I might try to go for a knockout with Great Catcher if it's possible off the Jirachi if they don't bring up that Mewtwo Mew again. Maybe that's the sixth prize card. I don't remember seeing the deck more and more that I think about it. Yikes. Ah. Okay. So let's see what their Stellar Wish brings. They already got a Welder. They're pretty happy. That's their second Welder. And still making those decisions here with the Jirachi. 
Okay, another welder. How many fire energies do they have in their scar pile now? Two, cool. And this is where reset stand, that's fine. That hand wasn't anything super exciting anyways. Skateboard's nice for Jirachi. This is where I'd really like to Dene GX as well. Because it's something I definitely went over. If we can top deck a fire energy of any sort, I think we're okay. Maybe. See how it plays out. There's our uh, second prize, our second Pokemon we want to knock out. So Mewtwo 1, Mewtwo 2. And I'm sure they're just going to knock me out with uh, Charizard and Brakeson's brilliant flare. Okay, so there's Blacephalon. If we can get a Fire Energy, we will get a Knockout. If we do not get a Fire Energy, we do not get a Knockout. We did not get a Fire Energy at all. So let's go Quick Ball. Let's discard an Ultra Space. Zacian's definitely going to allow us to draw some cards. Mew's going to be there. There's an escape board to put on the Mew. I'm just trying to thin down our hands so we can draw some cards off this lucky egg. I, I really, really, really think it's better for us to go for Intrepid Sword here. Just drawing some cards. I'm a little little worried here. Would have been nice to have a Jirachi. We're just not getting the cards we want. This deck's it's setting up fine. It's just the way that the game's flowing. It's weird. Um, and if our opponent's able to draw multiple prize cards in a turn, we might be in trouble. Uh, the biggest the biggest scare that we got going on here they have brilliant flare so i know they already got three cards that they want what are they doing oh they're just taking a knock out there whoa that's spooky i wasn't expecting that at all okay well we're gonna draw a card and right now we have five energies. We just need one more energy to take a knockout. There's our Fiery Flint. So I know for sure we're going to be able to take a knockout. Let's end up Mew because Mew has free retreat. That seems way better than what we got going on before. Fiery Flint seems like another way for us to get around this. So let's go... How many Fire Crystals have I even used? One... So I have three, four, five, ten. I only have access to a limited amount of energies. Not really worried about the switch here. Yeah, that seems completely fine. One, two. So you can see that we are running on fumes here. There's fire crystal. One, two, three. But we are going to bring up our Blacephalon. We do have our Lucky Egg. Let's go Fireball Circus for one, two, three, four, five, six. Lots of energies. And our opponents have four prize cards. They can't win the game this turn. And we're just drawing three. One, two, three. So we actually have enough to go Blacephalon, uh, Fire, Fire. We have Energy Retrieval, Energy, oh, Jolteon GX. Holy, with Aurora Energy, I guess anything is possible here. What are they gonna do here? Swift Run, prevent all effects of the damage, including damage done to this Pokemon, and then hit for 110? I'd be cool with that too. I have no clue. They're also really getting close to running card out of cards in their deck. They have eight. Have they used 
reset stamp? Yeah, I've used a reset stamp. Um, really weird game against Mewtwo. Okay, so there's the reset stamp. There's the lucky egg. The Cephalon, Welder, Victini. Please, 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 please knock this out. One thing that I want to note is if you do knock out something with the Lucky Egg, um, you do have to draw until you have seven cards in your hands. Huh. Wild. So you could potentially deck out. Um, we can't win. Okay. Let's go Bilcephalon. Let's go B-String. Like, we have enough energy if it works. Well, they're there. can knock out I don't think they're gonna get enough to use Espeon Deoxys attack but like they could um, don't really want to use energy retrieval either there's a lucky egg I'm just gonna sacrifice this Mew I think because there's really not el much else that I want to do if I use energy retrieval that takes away one energy anyways um, if I go Beak Catch, maybe I could win the game just by going uh, Fire, or uh, Fire Crystal, Fire Crystal. That's six. Yeah, like, I mean. Let's try it. I look through the deck, we know it's up. Our opponent's already used uh, two. So let's do that. Let's retreat. Let's go for beak catch. Fire crystal, fire crystal. So we have access to seven fires in our hands. And we attach one for our turn next turn, which means we have six. So realistically, we could be okay. I don't know what our opponent's gonna do here in terms of an attack, but if they go in with Mewtwo, um, I like if they don't, if they leave Mewtwo in the active position, we are actively winning this game. Venom shots. We have Mew on our bench. What? Our opponent literally just forgot, and now they have to discard energies. Wow. I was not expecting that, and I'm sure they... I'm sure they weren't either. Um, let's go Welder onto there to draw some extra cards. Switch, Blacephalon, Fire Crystal, one, two, three. Fire Crystal, one, two, three. And let's go for Fireball Circus. One, two, three, four, five, six, and done. That's how you win him. That was crazy. The beak catch came in clutch there. It was insane. Well played. Alrighty, so we saw how the deck works. This is exactly where we finished with the list. Again, might want to add to Dene. Not entirely sure of cards like Victini even though they might be useful sometimes. I know that one card that I really like in this deck is Cramorant V, I can't stress that enough. Probably my favorite card in this deck just because Beak Catch is clutch. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, subscribe to our channel here at Rare Candy TCG on YouTube. And if you really wanna support our channel, you can go to patreon.com slash rarecandytcg to become a patron. I, by joining on one of our tier lists it really would help out our channel we put all of our proceeds back right into the channel to make it the absolute best 
quality for everyone who's watching right now. So totally appreciate all of y'all. Uh, we also have rarecandytcg.com if you want to pick up some cool merch. Got some lots of cool stuff, so be sure to head on over to that site and pick some stuff up for yourself if you want to support the channel. That being said, I'm off for now, and I will catch up with y'all later.